What's up guys, my name is Noah, I make music as Haterade, and you are watching The Productive Producer. Today's video is about music school. I'm gonna share some of my experiences with music school, I have a couple of different experiences, and I wanna share some of my opinions. Real quick though, I got a free finishing music checklist for you guys in the description. If you're having trouble finishing your music, go grab that checklist, should be really helpful for you. And I mean, it's helped a lot of people already, a bunch of you guys have downloaded it, so. And jump in the Discord, I'm dropping samples in there all the time, come check it out, it's a good time. So there are a lot of videos on YouTube slamming music schools. They say that they're overpriced, irrelevant, and they no longer have a place in the music world. I think that's true in a lot of cases, but definitely not all cases. I'll share with you guys my experience. I went to community college for a couple of years and I took some classes there. And I had already been making music in the beginning. I was, I mean, I was making music since I was in junior high before I even thought of doing music for a living. Then I did a couple of semesters at Southwestern Community College in San Diego. Then I graduated from Icon a couple years later in LA. Now I'm not gonna comment on either one of the programs because it's been a long time since I was in there. I, th I graduated from Icon in 2017 and that was the last time I've ever been in any sort of formal schooling. So they've changed a lot since I left. To sum it up though, my experience, I had a lot more fun going to Icon Collective in Los Angeles. It was just a, it was more targeted towards dance music and I met a lot of great people, had a lot of great teachers. It was a good experience for me. But what about you though? You're probably sitting there wondering, well, I don't know a whole lot. I'm trying to learn, but it's hard. You know, you know, maybe I should go to music school. I think it's important to highlight here that you can learn everything that you'll learn at music school right here on YouTube. There is not a single thing especially nowadays with how many people are creating content for YouTube, there's not a single thing that you could learn at school that you couldn't learn on YouTube. So really what it comes down to is the curation of information, right? So basically somebody just arranging all of that information in a curriculum for you, which is essentially what any sort of education is, and your school experience. That school experience should heavily weigh in your decision of whether or not to go to music school. If you have trouble paying attention, if you have, if you're not really sure how to curate your own lesson plan, if you have trouble just staying focused on learning one thing at a time, then maybe a formal classroom is for you. There's added value and benefit to that because a lot of, a lot of us are really distracted a lot of the time. Time. So having that sense of accountability is really valuable and you could pay for that. That said, I think there are some cases in which you should absolutely not go to music school. Number one is if you're just curious about music and you just want to dabble. Music school is way too expensive for that. A trade school icon collective, I think at the time that I went, it was $25,000, which is a lot for one year of schooling. Practice on your own with free resources and save that $25,000 for something else. At least until you decide whether or not music is something you really, really want to pursue. Number two is if you want a full four year degree, you're not a lawyer or a doctor. Nobody's gonna care what university you went to to make beats. Can you make dope music? That's all that's gonna matter when it comes down to it. Don't pay $60,000 for a four year degree that says that you can make music. Unless you're paying all cash, you're gonna be straddled with student loan debt for years and years and it's just not worth it. And third, if you think you're gonna be famous after you graduate, lots of music schools tout their alumni in their advertising materials with good reason, right? Like, I mean, who wouldn't? You have a music school, somebody goes to it, then they become famous and tour and successful. That's it obvious marketing material right there. But I think it sends the wrong message to a lot of students that, oh, if I go there, then I that will happen to me too. In the vast majority of cases, you don't really break out until after you're done with school anyways. You go in not knowing a whole lot, knowing a little bit maybe, learning a lot at school, and then you spend the rest of that time implementing it after school, and then that's where you get somewhere. Right now, you are watching a video on YouTube about whether or not you should go to music school. The irony is you are at music school right now. You get to just type in the search bar which class you wanna take. You can hear about what other people think about the class. You can see how many other people have taken that class. And if you like the instructor, you can go watch the rest of that instructor's course material. You have everything that you need at your disposal right now. The only thing that you really pay for, like I was saying, is the experience and the curation. In summary, my opinion is, you're already on YouTube right now. YouTube is the most comprehensive music school on planet Earth. Save your money and decide if you wanna to go to music school later on. If after spending a lot of time on YouTube and you still aren't where you wanna be, maybe it's time to start introducing a tutor or taking more classes or actually going to an actual school. 
but don't jump into school as your first option. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.